Why is the OFDM symbol prefix shorter in the 5G mobile standard and the 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard compared with previous standards? Well, here we've got a visual representation of the OFDM symbol with the cyclic prefix or guard period, followed by the data in the parallel subchannels with OFDM. So let's think about this prefix. The reason for having the prefix is to protect the data portion of the symbol from the intersymbol interference from the previous data symbol. And so this prefix needs to be long enough to account for the multipath reflections in the channel. So that's what determines this distance here. So there's a direct line of sight in a wireless communications channel, but there'll also be others, paths that reflect off reflectors and arrive with delays tor. And we want this prefix time to be long enough to account for all of the delayed paths. So let's think about 5G mobile systems. And these are introducing millimeter wave carrier frequencies. And at millimeter wave, there is more absorption from reflectors. And also the general propagation properties are not so positive and the distances are going to be shorter. So there will be less paths that will be arriving and making a substantial input to your receiver from long distances and large values of Tor, which means the cyclic prefix can be shorter. That's one reason. This is a similar thing for the 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard, which is being de designed to have dense access points for high capacity dense systems. And this has got less transmit power, which will mean that there will be less effect from scatterers that are a long way away. So in both of those reasons, there is going to be a reason to have a shorter prefix period. Another effect with both of these systems is that they're using multi-user MIMO. And with multi-user MIMO, effectively what's happening is a separate beam is being formed for each of the users using the multiple antennas at the transmitter. And the same thing happens at the receiver. So in this case, you're actually finding the direction, you know, electromagnetically finding the direction, and then pointing a beam in the direction of your intended receiver, if we're thinking of the transmit side. And therefore, energy is not being directed in the direction of reflectors. And so therefore, there's again less effect from the reflective paths. So again, the prefix can be shorter. So these are two reasons why we're able to have a shorter prefix in these new standards. Of course, there's a benefit from having a shorter prefix is you spend less time on the prefix and you can then have more time relative on the data. There are other aspects of these new systems which tend to mean that you have a shorter data period uh, and this is covered in a video, which you'll find in the description below this video, talking about the subcarrier spacing. Uh, and importantly, it's the ratio of the two, which tells you how efficient the process is. So let's take a look at some example values. And in the 802.11a Wi-Fi system, it was not a MIMO system, and it had a prefix of eight microseconds. Whereas in the 802.11ac system, it's either 0.4 microseconds for a short or normal prefix, or it's 0.8 microseconds for what's called a long prefix. So it's an order of magnitude shorter. In the 4G LTE system, there was 16.7 microseconds, and in 5G, it's going to be typically around one microsecond. So hopefully this video has given you some insights into the prefix length in these two new systems. If it has, give it a thumbs up, it helps others to find the video. Check out the description below where you'll find a web page with a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos.